your income. Uh, going to going to a thing. It, it's 25% of your income. Why does that happen? Going to going to a 15-year fixed rate mortgage for your personal residence. Why That automatically adjusts with interest rates. It automatically adjusts with house prices. Um, so it doesn't need to be changed. If you put more than that in, you're still going to have sque- squeezed your disposable income. You still don't have the margin to invest, the margin to be generous. You don't have the margin to buy a couch. So you put the stupid thing on 90 days, same as cash, and then you wonder why your butt's in debt, because you didn't keep margin in your budget. That's why. These are basic things, but they're all formula-based except the $1,000, and I never intended it to be adequate. And I guess it makes sense when you look at just baby steps. It is yeah. a yeah. baby step. Uh, I like what you said about your principles, the ones that have never changed. It's not actually based off of what you believe to be true, but it's on objective reality, and you kind of just see yourself as a mouthpiece for that reality. It's yeah, best practices. I mean, you, I went, when I went broke, I went and talked to old rich people, and they all told me the same thing. Live on less than you make. Get on a budget. Stay out of debt. And I wasn't doing any of that. That's why I went broke. I was deeply in debt. Didn't have a plan. I thought I could out-earn my stupidity. How you did know. you get that hope, though? After that, I was hopeless. So I was, kind of, I was at the bottom. I was bankrupt. Everything was gone, you know, and... So man, I got hungry kids and a wife that wants to leave, but she doesn't have a car and, <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah, so 